So why? Why where do we evil and suffering come from? Where do this sin permitted? Why was this sin permitted? Is God responsible? If not, why doesn't he at least stop it? Will it ever come to an end? What God plan has planned done to solve the problem? And what does that say about his character? The law of love being the foundation of the government of God, the happiness of all created beings is dependent upon their perfect accord with its great principles of rightness. God desires from all his creatures the service of love, homage that springs from an intelligent appreciation of his character. He takes no pleasure in a forced allegiance and to all he grants freedom of will that they may render him voluntary service. My friends, there was one that chose to pervert this freedom since originated with him who, next to Christ, had been almost honored of God and who stood highest in power and glory among the inhabitants of heaven. Because, b before his fall, Lucifer was first of the covering corrupts, holy and undefiled. Thus say that the Lord God, thou sealest up the sum, full of wisdom and perfect in beauty, thou hast been in Eden, the glory, the, the garden of God, every precious stone was thy covering. Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth, and I have said thee so, thou wast upon the holy mountain of God. You have walked up and down in the midst of the stone of fire. You have perfect in your ways from the day that you west created till iniquity was found in you. Ezekiel 28 verses 12 to 15. After that, the creation reflected God's glory. Lucifer might have remained in her favor with God. Beloved and honored by all the angelic host, exercising his noble powers to bless others and to glorify his maker. But, says the prophet, thine heart was lifted up because of the beauty. Thou hast corrupted thy wisdom by reason of thy brightness. Verse 17. Little by little, Lucifer came to indulge a desire for self-exaltation. You have set your heart as the heart of God. You have said, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation. I will ascend above the hearts of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Verses 6. Isaiah 14 verses 13 and 14. Instead of seeking to make God's supreme in the affections and allegiance of his creatures, it was Lucifer's endeavor to win their service and homage to himself, and coveting the honor which the infinite Father had bestowed upon his son, the prince of angels aspired to power, which it was the prerogative of Christ alone to weird. All the heaven had rejoiced to reflect the Creator's glory and to show forth his praise, and while God was thus honored, all had been peace and gladness, but a knot of discord now mirrored the celestial harmonies. The service and exaltation of self contrary to the Creator's plan 
awakened for bodies for body of evil in minds to whom God's glory was supreme. The heavenly councils pleaded with Lucifer, the Son of God, presented before him the greatness, the goodness, and the justice of the Creator and the sacred, unchanging nature of his law. God himself had established the, the order of heaven, and in departing from it, Lucifer would dis dishonor his Maker and bring ruin upon himself. But the warning given in infinite love and mercy only uh, aroused a spirit of resistance. Lucifer allowed jealousy of Christ to prevail and he became the more determined. So this proves that the two topics. I think that you understood and you got something knowledge that how the creation rejected God's glory and how was the sin permitted or why was the sin permitted thank you for watching my video and gaining some knowledge into your hearts and into your minds if you have got something please share my video god bless you